Hey, I'm Sasha, and today we're talking about what to do if your child sees, hears, or senses a spirit. Right off the bat, it actually feels important to say what not to do, which is not to tell them that they're making it up or that their experience isn't real. Some parents do this directly by saying to their kids, this isn't real or you're making it up. And other parents do this by minimizing how their child feels like, it's okay, close your eyes, you're okay, just close your eyes. Many of us carry a cultural wounding of not trusting our own experience and related not being able to trust our intuition and eventually not even being able to sense our intuition. That's important because having our intuition and trusting our own experience of our life is imperative to the health and happiness of our being. I'm not suggesting that we're not discerning with our senses. I think discernment is really important when it comes to intuition and intuitive processes. However, what I am saying is that as this child's parent, guardian, or friend, we should be leading with empathy and curiosity. So circling back to what you can do when your child is seeing, hearing, or feeling a spirit. You can teach them about boundaries and sovereignty. The phrase we taught our daughter is, no, you are not allowed in my space. Please leave. So our daughter knows when she hears or sees a spirit that she does not want in her space, she says, no, you are not allowed in my space. Please leave. It's also really important how to teach your child to call on support. Whether that's God or a figure from your faith, um, ancestors or ancestral spirits like related to that realm, or it could be just simply their connection to the earth, love, compassion, whatever helps them to feel backed and supported. It's really important for children to be able to call on that support and to feel that support when it's landed. Our daughter just turned four and she has already had the experience of both hearing spirits and seeing spirits. Both times she was terrified. She was really, really scared. So what we did was we worked on boundaries and calling on support. So as I said, my daughter has a phrase that she now uses, no, you're not allowed in my space, please leave. She also calls in her wise and well ancestors, God, Creator, Maguayan, and a few other folks who she has relationships with and she feels supported by as she sleeps, when she goes to bed, or really any other time where she needs that support. The other thing I'll say is that if you are this child's parent or guardian, it's actually most helpful if you're doing your own work. And what I mean by that is you're cultivating your own relationship with the divine. If that is the case for you and you feel like you have support on the other side that you can also harness, you can also try this three-step process, which is number one, you call in support that you already know and trust. So like I said, this could be God, this could be somebody from your faith. It could be an ancestor who you know is well and healed. Um, it could be earth. It could be your connection to love, etc. And once you feel the presence of that power, then you can go ahead and ask them to clear your energetic space and the energetic space of your child also the physical space perhaps, if it keeps happening in a physical space, clear the physical and energetic space of yours and your child. And then really wait there until that feels complete and good. Next, with the power you called in at the start, you're going to ask them to create a circle 
of protection around you and your child so that any unwanted energy, anything that's not of a healed, helpful, loving vibration is firmly outside of the circle of protection. And when you feel that healthy boundary for yourself, and when you feel that that healthy boundary has been extended to your child, then you can continue throughout your day. One thing that I have also liked to do with my daughter when I'm doing this is I ask her her sense. Do you feel the presence of the trusted power that you've called in? Do you feel your space being cleared? And can you feel that layer of protection and healthy boundary around you? And especially if they're little or even maybe the first few times you ask them this, they might be like, oh, I'm not sure, maybe, I guess. And with practice, you will get a yes. This is true for adults and for kids because the more time you spend actually building that intuition muscle, the better you are at knowing if your space really is clear, if you do have healthy boundaries around you, if you really can feel the presence of the trusted power. And finally, the last thing I'll say is that sometimes children are scared whether or not the spirit is a helpful spirit or a not so helpful spirit. And some of the spirits that have come to my daughter, just based on what she said to me, I can't really tell if they're helpful or not so helpful because our daughter is so scared that she's able to sense and hear and see things in the spirit realm that she's still developing her curiosity and her ability to trust. Is this one helpful or not so helpful? And that's sort of the lesson 2.0 that we could talk about at another time. If you are there and if you'd like to hear that lesson, uh, just go ahead and drop <laughs> a comment in the chat or just tell me what you and your kids have experienced and I can see if I can help. Also, this is something I'm now offering on my website, so I will go ahead and link that down below if you wanna check it out or if you need support in this way. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or if you thought it was helpful, uh, please subscribe and like, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.